changed my shirt, now that I changed my shirt by the magic of television, we're going to go into unit rates, which is 3.3. .3, and keep in mind that a unit rate is a rate in which the second quantity is always going to be one unit. Now, when we interpret slope as a unit rate, we have to make sure to include the units being compared in our final answer. This graph right here shows the relationship between the time in hours that George walked the miles that he traveled. If we were to calculate the slope of this line, the slope of this line would be 5, 6, or 5 over 6. What that means is that he's traveling 5 miles in 6 hours. The only difference between finding the slope and writing it as a unit rate is so far the slope, let me just erase this and back it up a little bit, the slope of this is just 5, 6. As a unit rate, we are just going to write <coughs> two quantities being compared. What's being compared? What's my y? Miles. Miles. <coughs> and this is division. Division is written as the word per. per. So it's going to be 5, 6 miles per. And what is the time? Hour. hour. So it's 5, 6 miles per hour. That is his unit rate. If you were to go here and find a point, calculate the slope, you would get, like I said, 5, 6. Simply write the slope. Compare the two units, miles per hour. We can also write an equation from this line. If you remember, we write equations using slope in what format? Y equals, what would this be? Uh, three, six, y equals kx, it's constant. Uh, it's slope, so it's also y equals mx. It's another way to say it. And what's my slope here? 5, 6. So the equation for this would simply be y is equal to 5 over 6x. That's it. That would be my equation. Y equals 5 over 6x. And you're going to see next time how, given an equation, we can then graph this line. But that's next time. Let's try another scenario here. Now let's go. This table represents the distance Gabby walked in miles during a given time in hours. We want to express this as a unit rate. You with me? In order to do that, I first need to find the slope. The good thing is here, they gave you your points. But we need to know what the x is, what the y is. So we need to identify the input, we need to identify the output. Looking at this scenario, time in hours and the distance, it says, this represents the distance Gabby walked in miles during a given time in hours. What do you think the input is? Time, time is the, time is the input. We input some time, we get out some distance. So this is my x, this is my y. You can now take any two sets of x, y, coordinates from this table and use them to find the slope, whichever two you want. So let's go to Ali. What two sets of coordinates do you want to use? X and Y. Yeah, X and Y, but which ones? 4, 5, 8, 10, 12, 15, 16, 20, 16 and 20. Which ones? 4 and 5. 4 and 5. And what is 4? Is 4 the X value or the Y value? The X. The X. So we're going to write it as 4, comma, 5. five. That's my first set. And then what other set do you want to use? It doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer no matter which two sets you use. 16 over 20. 16, comma, 20. All right, let's go through the process. What is going to be your y2? Um, 5 with 20. 20. 20 is the larger of the y values. That's going to be my y2. If this is your y2, everything else now falls into place. Madison, what is this going to be? X2. X2. Perfect. Rachel, what is this going to be? Y1. Y what? 1. Y1. Good. Lucas, what's this going to be? <coughs> My X1. My X1. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's your X1. Now that we have that identified, we just substitute it into our slope formula, which once again is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Yes? Oh, you want to answer? Well, help me. Substitute it in. What are we writing? Uh, 20, minus 20 5 minus 5 over, over 16, minus 4. 16 minus 4. What is 20 minus 5? 15. 15. What is 16 minus 4? 12. 12. Can we simplify that? Yes. yes. Okay. What does that simplify down to? 5 over 3. 5 over 3. Okay, so what did you divide both? What did you, you divide them both by? 3. Divide them both by 3. So if we divide this by 3, we get oh. 5. If you divide this by 3, you get? A four. four. So the unit rate is five over four. 
That's the slope. And then the unit rate written out correctly would be five fourths what? Miles, miles per, per hour. hour. Five fourths miles per hour. That's the unit rate. What's up? If you didn't want to like um make it smaller, can you just like leave it out? No, you must simplify the fraction. Oh, okay. You must always simplify the fraction if possible. If you got five over four to begin with, you wouldn't be able to simplify that. We don't want to turn it into a decimal, we want to leave it as a fraction. Yes? Can I do the equation? Okay, and what would the equation be? Y equals five over four x. Y equals five over four x. Nothing new. There was nothing new here other than adding in the miles per hour. The slope you know how to do, slope formula you know, equation you know. The only thing that's new is writing in the miles per hour. That is it. Any questions on this first page? Anybody? No? We all know what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. So, so far we were just finding one unit rate. Well, let's see what happens if we have to compare two different unit rates. Um, let's go to Jennifer. Can you read the scenario for me? The equation y equals 13x minus 7 goes So we have two different things happening here. First thing is we have tank A, and it is filling with water at a specific rate. Court, what rate? What is the unit rate for tank A? Tank A. Kind of gives it to you, right? Yeah. What is it? 13. It's 13 what? X. Gallons per minute. So it's 13 gallons per minute. Y equals 13x. 13 gallons per minute. The equation is y equals 13x. We simply take out the slope as a unit rate is 13 gallons per minute. That's the first piece of information. But the question that's being posed to us here is which tank fills faster? They gave us the slope of tank A. Now for tank B, what did they give us here? <coughs> what did they give us? A chart. A chart, a table of information. This represents tank B. We are comparing the two. So we need to identify the unit rate or the slope for tank B. Let's think about this. Um, Fiam, what's the input, what's the output here? Um, x over y, which is time over time. Time is my input, gallons is my output. So minutes is the input, gallons is the output. Let's use any two sets of coordinates, either this one, this one, this one, or this one, in order to determine the unit rate. So which do you want to use? 4 over 44. You want to use 4 comma 44, okay. 4 comma 44, we'll use that. It doesn't matter which two you use, you'll always get the same answer. And Maria, mar, do, and nado. Uh, which one of these is going to be your second choice? of What do you want to use? 20 and 220. 20 and 220, okay. So which one of those is the x value? 20. So it's going to be 20 comma 220. Let's go and let's figure out what's our y2, y1, x2, x1. Let's slide on over to Emily. Emily. Oh, yes. Tavaros, what is my y2? Um, 220. 220. These are the y values. The larger y value is 220. That's going to become my y2. Better. Citing, what's my y1? 44. 44, yeah, the y value is automatically y1. And if this is y2, this has to be? X2. X2. Shimon, what is this? X1, perfect. Let's substitute into our formula now. Um, flash. Flash. Oh, savior of the universe. Flash. Substitute it in, what are we gonna get here? Okay, 220 minus, minus um, y1, which is 44. 44, good. And then? Oh, and then x2 is 20 minus um, four, two, 4. And when you do the math here, you're going to end up with, what's 220 minus 44? Anybody? 176. 176. 176. 176. 
divided by, what's 20 minus 4? 16. 16. And then 176 divided by 16, my slope would be 11. My slope is 11. 176 divided by 16 gives me 11. So the unit rate of tank B is what? 11, 11, 11 gallons per minute. Okay, so we know the unit rate of both. Then it's a simple question. Rihanna, which tank is filling faster? The first one, why? It's 13 gallons per minute. The answer is tank A because 13 gallons per minute is greater than 11 gallons per minute. So tank A is indeed filling faster. Once again, nothing really new here. We knew how to find the slope. We knew how to get it from the equation. We knew how to get gallons per minute. All you're doing is comparing tank A and tank B. Everything you've already learned. As you're gonna see here, this builds up. And since you know slope now, you have a better understanding of it, it's going to be much easier. Any questions on this? No? You good? All right, so then, buckle, today's 